الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر I also want to speak tonight directly to Muslims throughout the world. We respect your faith. It's practiced freely by many millions of Americans and by millions more in countries that America counts as friends. Its teachings are good and peaceful. Wherever you look, both in Western Europe and in North America, the members of the elite class have this tendency to proclaim Islam, some mysterious, authentic Islam, to be peaceful and to be tolerant, and those Muslims prone to violence are proclaimed to be non-representative fringe. I want you to understand, I want the world to understand, that our actions today were not aimed against Islam. The faith of hundreds of millions of good, peace-loving people all around the world, including the United States. The idea that Islam is a spiritual religion like uh, for instance, Christianity is completely incorrect. This is a war against people who in many ways pervert what Islam stands for. Islam stands for uh, peace and stands for nonviolence. Islam is the only religion in the world that has a developed doctrine, theology, and law that mandates violence against unbelievers. The Prophet cut off the hands and feet of the men belonging to the tribe of Arina and did not cauterize their bleeding limbs till they died. Rabbi Qanina was tortured by the order of the Prophet of Islam himself. Uh, his eyes were put out. He was burned. I've come to realize that Islam is a good religion. It's a good way of life. Islam understands its earthly mission to be to extend the law of Allah over the world by force. Whole cities were given up to massacres, uh, population, entire populations were um, deported in slavery or massacred. Islam is not a religion for personal use. Islam is Sharia law. Islam is a form of government to the world. Even very diverse Muslim societies, which cannot be easily branded under one civilizational label, have something in common, and it is the tendency to be in conflict with their neighbors. The question now that we have to ask ourselves is, do we want to preserve our Judeo-Christian values and our own civilization? It's about time for the whole West to realize Islam is the truth. As a matter of time, Islam ought to be implemented. I'm the giant of Islam. And the giant of the Islamic State is going to rise up again. And it's going to be a fact. I am again saying this in the full knowledge that it will offend some Western ears. But the peculiarity of Islam has to be faced, and it has to be faced frankly and openly. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.